You're back with Riding on Eggshells, and we're still swimming in croc-infested waters. I don't think we're ever going to leave. When you left us, we were in Jabiru. We're still in Jabiru. Where we'd stayed for two nights. And it is now time for us to leave there and leave Kakadu National Park, but not before. We need to make our way to Jim Jim Falls. excited here it's, it's, are you looking forward to going for a I swim i love swimming in the northern territory yeah. it's so refreshing it's such a warm day i'm really keen yeah. to get in the water just walking along <laughs> trying to commune with nature and a plant bit me <laughs> on the whip i am just not as bush manly as i like to think i am we're just looking around, danger, danger, crocodile, and then he doesn't even get attacked by a crocodile, just attacked by a plant. We are at Jim Jim Falls. I think it was a 2k walk. All of it scrambling across rocks to this secluded beach with a the gorgeous little, look at all the fish, gorgeous little lagoon. It's, you can hear other people, there's only a few other people here, but you can hear the echoing of voices all through the, all through the canyon. It's amazing. Time to go. Yeah, we swam in the pool. I would say this is absolutely the best pool I've ever been in. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Yeah. So we've got about two and a half hours um, to where we're staying tonight, um, which might look familiar to you guys who've been watching along. Um, so yeah, time to get on the road, I think. Ready? I'm ready. The track on the way out of Jim Jim Falls was great fun, a little bit too much fun. I was getting a little bit excited with sliding my back end around in the soft sand and then... Disaster. Quite a big impact has ripped that pannier right off. This will hold it for the next couple of hours. And I am going to be very snug on my seat. Cool. All right, Lodotus. What did you do? May or may not have made a booking for Monday. This is why Harry doesn't usually do that. Hi there. Um, do you happen to have a room for two for tonight? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, alright. Thanks anyway. 
No, we're full, sorry. All right, thanks anyway. Okay, see you. Cheers, babe. The number you have called is not... Let me just try the other places that have real beds. Please check the number before calling again. Oh, but I wanted a real mattress. Well, you've only got yourself to blame. I'm sure I can find a way to make you to blame. Here we are, I've treated Liz to a night in the nicest caravan park you've ever seen. Top shelf stuff. <laughs> uh, actually, I slept quite well. Um, <laughs> he never sleeps well. Uh, luckily for Harry, this is our last night camping. So today we are going to Litchfield National Park. Yeah, we never have to camp ever again in our lives. That's what you said. Heard it here first, folks. We're no. holding her to it. No more camping in my life. No, no. We're going to see Litchfield National Park. What's that famous for? Uh, lots of waterfalls. Cool, I like um, waterfalls. Termite mounds. I like dirt piled high. <laughs> and off-road riding. I like off-road riding. Good. Yeah. Hopefully, and as I've said on the last like three days, I'll get my drone up today. Yeah. We'll see. And then uh, to Darwin. To Darwin to fix my pannier. But first. And sleep in a real mattress. But first. Coffee. Coffee. Let's go, let's go and get a coffee. <laughs> yeah. What is he mowing? What is that? What are you mowing? It's dust! A surprise falls, I think. Cape York, were you going to be like this every time we crossed a river? Yeah, 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 that's the plan. Just, just think a crocodile's going to be right there waiting for you in the middle of the crossing. A little bit, yeah. You happy with the route? Love it, this is great fun. <laughs> do you want me to get out and film you crossing first? Because I do. <laughs> oh, how generous of What I'd suggest for the next one is keep the revs really high. So first gear, uh, go through a bit quicker and slipping the clutch even if you need to, just to keep the revs as high as possible. Because if it's going duh, 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 then a tiny little slap of water will go. Oh. That's my theory anyway. I 
adventure rentals. Another day, another swim in a very low risk crocodile pond, which is somewhat um, heartening until you read that it's called Surprise Creek and the surprise is crocodiles. Now we're just getting ready to leave Surprise Falls. Uh, but the road was closed. Oh yeah. We no more four wheel drive track. We can't go onwards, so we have to do a dog leg. Go all the way back round, but I think we will still head back into Litchfield. Yeah, on the four wheel um, drive tracks. Oh, no, no, sealed, sealed roads. Sealed four wheel drive track. Um, Bumpy, lumpy, slidey. But we're going back to Darwin, so let's get back to Darwin. I think we need to forget what we just said to you. I really want to try this um, closed road, at least until we get to the bit that it's is impassable because they're saying from the other side it isn't closed and I have seen before places where they go road closed and they've just, they have forgotten to remove the sign. We've, we've done, had seen that a few times. And with a couple of bits in the road so far where it's just a bit of the road slipped away, we think it probably it's not an issue for a motorbike. Plus, if it is, more interesting. Yeah. So, and it's only a short road ish, so we, sh we should move ten around. Yeah, if we get down it and we find it's the wrong way, we'll have wasted an hour, and we're going to spend two or three hours going the other way anyway. Yeah. So let's check out this closed road. Mm. Right when we're in the sand, particularly. Please, no salty. Snorkel recommended. Yeah, let's take a look at that <coughs> thingy. Your hose situation. A tube leading out of the carburetor. I almost think it's that one. Which I'm just gonna pull up. Anyway. What is it? I just found a tube. But I don't really know what the breather hose does. So I don't really know what it is. 
so I don't really know where it's meant to be or what it looks like. I've just tied that up in a loop there. Rev it. We're just going to take a look at this river crossing a little bit. It looks very shallow, but uh, it's very long. You can see the end just way down there. Is that it? That's the end? Maybe 200 meters away? Watch out for crocs. Huh? Watch out for crocs. So there's another track that goes like straight to the right there. Ah, uh, so you can avoid the river the most of the way. What was that? Yeah, what was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was a big thing. It was a rustling. Okay. Keep the revs high. We made it. Cool. Okay, now let's see where the next bit goes. I don't know if you did that in second, but remember to try to keep the revs high in water. That was me trying to keep the revs high. I do feel like you pinning these up here has done something because it does want to cut out now. Oh, I don't know what these tubes do. Let me go that side of that. I'm out of ideas. Is that going to work? What you've done? Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a go. Okay. by saying keep your revs up and she thinks I mean keep your speed up because <laughs> she hits each one of those crossings now. Could be that, could be the crocodile, I'm not sure. But... She does not mess about. Okay. Have you already been through? How deep is it? Sorry? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, if we could watch you, that'd be a big help. I'm trying to catch you up and see you do it. <laughs> well, you can stay over there 
26th to the 5th is how long ago? Six weeks. Oh, that is deep. Oh, it's deep and long. You are kidding. Be careful at the water's edge. True. Oh no, they've got water in their intake then. That's what I would guess. You reckon I um, drive ahead of you and we put a snap strap on it so you can just like we just keep it short. No, I keep it short mm -hmm. so he's riding. But then if you get stuck and it stalls, you're like because I can have my boy on the roof. And then if, if you stall, then at least we can just take up the slack and I'll just go real slow and you can keep your feet down. Could do. Walk through so you're staying but on the bike. The problem is again, I wouldn't feel confident to do that. No, I can come back for you. Yeah, we may do it. No, you meant him just in case it's still yeah. on him. Oh. Just in case it's still so I don't have to get off and then push it through the water. Because that's the other thing. Like, I love yeah. it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, anything that keeps my feet dry and my legs unbitten. I no, your order. legs will be wet because you have to put both feet yeah, down yeah. and walk through the water and just let the, let the car just tow it and you just keep it upright. Yeah, that could be a good idea because I was slightly wondering even if yeah, I keep the rubs up and it stalls, I'm going to be thrashing around in there by myself. So we have a plan. This lovely family have offered to help us across the crossing. And me being a wimp, that means Harry across the crossing twice. So he's gonna go across first on my bike. They've already set him up with a snatch strap. And in case he conks out, this car's gonna ride with him. They'll um, put him on a snatch strap to help drag out of the crossing. And then he's going to turn around, take Harry back, and um, bring him back to his bike, which he'll ride across. And I'm going to just sit in the car and um, get taken across, because I'm a wimp. I'm going to take the gloves off to do it. Yeah. But one run, he can do it, all right? Yeah, perfect. Remain relaxed, to yeah. Them, otherwise, you're going to be going, Shit, this thing doesn't go. Good luck, thank you. We can keep going. Keeping an eye out for crocs. No. All right, round two. Oh, oh. 
Oh, not what I wanted. the hero of the hour. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what are they poking out? <laughs> I tore my, my, um, one of my panniers off before, so wouldn't surprise me. Thank you. Well done, buddy. Thank you. You got the camera set up. Yes. See you later. Have a great trip. Bye. That whole group really did just stick around to watch us. What a day. What a day. How good are you? Here we are, we've made it. My um my backpack was just a little bit itchy for the last bit. I just sense that maybe I might have made an error. Yeah, I think we're very good. Yeah, are you are you quite burnt as well? You're in the sun just as much as me. You're I feel like cold. my shoulders feel like they're burnt. Mm, I'm gonna get some sunburn footage coming your way. Pretty glad to be here though. It's a nice, simple motel. It's like palmy holiday after vibes. After three nights camping. Three nights camping. There's two beds. So There's a bed excited. each. Oh, you can have your own bed. Whole mattress. Yeah. <laughs> Just like starfish on the bed. Boingy boingy. <laughs> um, and I think we might even just get. Oh, takeaway food. Take away mean delivery? No. They make food, they make burgers. Oh burgers. Oh my goodness, I'm in heaven. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this episode. Uh, we have certainly had an amazing last couple of days in the Northern Territories. Yep. Thank you as well to our patrons, uh, Sean, Tracy, and uh, VIP patron scrubbler Claire. Thank you very much. Nobody else has become a patron, though. That's enough. Three is, three is more than enough. So it's just cool it at that. No subscribing, no clicking the bell. Let's keep this a tight little secret gang. If you're here for the next episode, you will be seeing what on earth we're going to do about the next leg of the journey. Um, we really need to get going on what's happening with our transportation and I'm not sure what that's going to look like yet so you're going to have to check out the next episode to see how we fix the problem of the boat to Timor. The boat to Timor. See you next time. Maybe. I'm down.